Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to System Hack. Developed and published by Null Ray Gaming, released May 12th, 2017. System Hack is a sim RPG set in a dystopian future. Take the role of a neophyte hacker as they begin their criminal career. Design programs, increase your skills, upgrade your hardware, hack systems in cyberspace, battle IC, rob banks, manage your own company, and more. RPG, indie, simulation, early access, and hacking. As you can plainly hear, we have, <laughs> or had, some retro style music here in the background, but we must kill this if we can. Down, apply, there we go. I appreciate the music, but I don't like playing the copyright strike game. Okay. Uh, oddly enough, what does it say here? Unreal Engine. Oh, that's Unreal Engine's copyright. Epic Games. Gotcha. All right. So we have a hacking simulator uh, made in Unreal, which I do not recall ever attempting before. Um, it does seem like this game may have some 3D elements. So I guess let's see. Um, choose a background program. The programmer has few practical hacking skills and their rig wasn't designed to breach systems however they can create complex and powerful programs with ease all right i'm not sure what that means but okay the engineer has an impressive rig and is able to upgrade it at easy uh, easier than most unfortunately they have several bad habits when it comes to programming the hacker has spent years hacking weak systems and has developed a strong skill set along with a few unique tricks they have developed solid street cred which can make their life easier in the underworld or the academic. The academic is a highly intelligent, able to... <laughs> uh, the academic is a highly intelligent, able to improve their skills faster than most. Okay. They were wealthy once, but have lately found themselves deeply in debt. Well, I mean, I... Well, first of all, thank you very much. I appreciate the highly intelligent compliment. I don't necessarily think of myself that way, but that's fine. I'll, I'll accept... Oh, or you can do a custom. Ooh. Mm, it says recommended for experienced players. And I am anything but experienced at this point. So I will choose the academic background. Background genius with an IQ in excess of 150. Oh my goodness, really laying it on thick here. Wow. I just like tell you, I didn't expect a self esteem boost here. You have always learned significantly faster than others, require 25% less XP to raise skills. Background, augmented CNS. Thanks to cybernetic enhancements, you react much faster in cyberspace, effectively gaining a plus 25 response time. Uh, background, in deep. Ravencore pulled you out of the gutter and saved your life at a price. Your initial debt to Ravencore was 10000 instead of 2500 Okay, I don't know exactly what kind of penalty that is, but that's fine. <sighs> Virtual Combat 5. Cryptography 4. Virtual Stealth. Four. Programming. Three. Processor. Sixteen terahertz. Firewall. Five. Body. Two. Response. I don't know what any of this means, but I can see that it is asking me for a handle, and inspired by a recent comment on my channel, my handle shall be needlessly pedantic. Start game. <laughs> What's going on? It, it's a, it is a 3D game. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, well, it seems barely spell. Guys? It's self-explanatory. It says run. Let's run. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Ah. Oh, Ow. all right. No knock warrants, man. Bad news. <laughs> Tutorial controls getting started. Not at all what I expected. Uh, this, oh, I can see myself. Hmm. If I turn fast enough, can I see my own ears? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
we have a manner of firearm here. We have a manner of computer here. It is blinking at me. We have a manner of server rack with said servers. We have a manner of metal garbage. All right, let's do the thing that we must have to do because it's blinking at us. I is there we go. E message center. New messages too. Dryad. Hey, buddy, just checking in to see how the new digs are treating you. My contact at Ravencore said you might seem a little out of it. I guess you were in bad shape when they found you. She says you might not remember much, so I'll give you a quick summary. You got caught hacking a corp. They weren't even near any high-tech nodes, but they were pissed enough to send a goon... Sorry, good squad, not goon squad, to bring you in for an interrogation. Valentino had a team extract you before they put a bullet in your brain pan. They won't tell me where they stashed you, maybe for the best, but at least they gave me your contact info. I pulled some favors to make this work, so don't screw it up. I'm going to start working the problem from my end and see if we can lift the kill order. Oh yeah, you have a kill order on your head, so don't go outside. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> Ravencore. Welcome home. We have expended significant resources to secure your well-being. Resources you will recoup by putting your skills to use working for us. We have provided you this bunker to operate out of, in addition to this computer and a net, net driver rig. Our custom Nexus operating system has all the software you will need to accept contracts, send and receive secure messages, check company information, and even create your own custom hacking programs. We have even taken the liberty of embedding the address for Haven in the rig. It's a community of hackers in the shadow net and a great resource. Your first assignment will be available in the contract list. We will contact you once again when it is completed. All right, then. Turn in contract, available contracts, virtuous trust, Akura's odds and ends, hardware, Oracle, Shadownet News, decryptor, enter the net, log off career info. All right. Company is keeping its head above water. Tech security, there is... Seems many complicated things with this game. Uh, let's uh, let's log off. There we go. Um, can I pick up the gun? No. Uh, camera. Oh, it's me. Um. No crouching, huh? I can see me. Hey there, handsome. Where's the camera then? Must be over here. What the hell? It looks like it's right here. Oh, there it is. Hello. Can I just leave? No noise. No noise at all. Um, that's Russian. They moved me to Russia. I've been drafted. I'm off to fight in Ukraine. Klapan. Can't just leave, huh? Why is this in English, but that's in Russian? Warning, protected by a security system. The uh, bobbing that you're seeing here, like, I just stand still here. That, like, and that, the regular motion that you see. I am not doing that. That is simply what is happening. I can jump. I cannot crouch. Um, made in China. Fabrique and China, so English and French, Russian science, English science, oatmeal, toaster pastries. These aren't in English. Stop with the bobbing. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, I suppose we should probably, you know, do the thing. 
All right, tutorial controls. Move your character using the waz of the keys. You can rotate the camera and your character by holding the left mouse button and moving the mouse while not holding the left mouse button. Your character is visible. You'll be able to click the you have Getting started. To begin the game, working for every core coming over to your cursor, you can control those. Blah blah. As you progress through the game, your character will be able to blah 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 blah. Okay. Um, available contracts. Aptitude test. Enter the target system and await further instructions. We want to make sure you can handle yourself, boy. Um, probably should have read the tutorial. Program name, programming skill three, add subroutine, disruption breach. Okay, I have no fucking idea what that is. Uh, what is this? Oracle is an advanced piece of software designed to aid programmers by assembling code blocks from outline parameters. It is the way you will build new programs throughout the game. It is a fairly simple but powerful tool. In order to build a program, you will need to name it and at le add at least one subroutine. You can set the name by clicking the box with the enter name. Okay, add subroutine. The program complexity is determined by the rating of all subroutines. Okay, lines per. Okay, I don't care. Hardware. Oh, look at this. Install chip from inventory. Replace motherboard. Replace power supply. Install mod. Plasma. Some futuristic components, it seems. Is this the future? Is this quantum computing? Uh, a career's odd ends. Safe house cleaning, 3D printer. A 3D printer is $10,000, and this is supposed to be the future. I have it on good authority that it will be worth much less. Which was trust balance zero. Not well, I mean, I suppose activated, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, decryptor, Shadownet News, Shadownet News, Monarch, this is claim a Monarch kill squad was spotted in the Redmont district of Seattle. There were reports of gunfire, there are no details, okay, sure, whatever, okay, we're not decrypting anything, uh, I have no new messages to go along with my job, so if I enter the net, oh my goodness, look at that. Loading, loading. Uh, target system, Haven, target system. I'm in the target system. I am awaiting instructions. Enter the target system and await further instructions. We want to make sure you can handle yourself. You must be the new guy. Welcome to cyberspace. Although I hear it's not exactly your first time here. Well, I'm going to run you through this little refresher anyway. When you first enter a system, you'll be in the System Access Node, or SAN. It's the only place in the system where you can log out safely or return directly to the net. Okay, anything else? Disconnecting anywhere else in the system will result in a dump shock. <sighs> Tell me about it. Am I right? Am I right? Just entering cyberspace causes neural stress. The dump shock makes it much more extreme. Just like when you eat your boat leg. Oh. If your neural stress gets too high, you will need to rest. Okay, step one, find the system. Log node. Dump shock. Log node. Oh, I did it again. Oh, man. Feels good. Uh, approach it and interact with default E. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm different. I'm in Tron. Um, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip. Yeah, I see things. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that episode of Community. Jesus wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. It said it was locked. Uh, uh, system log. That's not what I'm looking for. Or is it? Yes, it is. It's locked. So far, so good. All nodes are locked with a user verification protocol or UVP for short. If you were an authorized user, we'd have the proper credentials, but you're not, so we'll have to be creative. This node is locked with a password UVP, so you're going to need to use some hacking software. By default, your starting programs are loaded in your... Oh, my hotbar. So, uh, talent, okay. Uh, otherwise, you can access your library with P and drag the desired program into the hotbar. Click the icon on your hotbar or hit the number key on your rig to fire the associated program. 
with the login screen up, run your Open the Locks program. The Passbreaker subroutine it contains is designed for bypassing UVP. Uh, is this one. Breaking your password lock is a little bit of a guessing game. There's a five-digit string of unique numbers required to open a lock. Start by entering any five numbers. Just remember not to enter more than one copy of any given number. One, two, three, four, five. Commit. Oh, it's Mastermind. It's a game of Mastermind. You will get feedback based on your guesses. The string you entered will appear, and the color of each number will give you a hint. A red number means that the number is not in the final string. And not to try it again. A yellow number means that it's in the final string, but in the wrong position. Finally, a green number means that it is the correct number in the wrong slot. Oh, correct number in the correct slot. Once all five digits are correct, the node will unlock. Every time you make a guess, there is a chance the host will detect an issue and spawn an intrusion countermeasure, or IC for short. I'll tell you about them in a minute. Uh, probably when you force me to fight one. Anyway, the rating of your passbreaker subroutine, along with your cryptography skill, determines the likelihood of detection. Access the node, and we will continue. Okay, so we know it's one, uh, three, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, there we go. Six, seven, eight. Commits. All right, so one, uh, seven, eight, nine, three. Oh, shit. Uh, one, eight, eight, seven, three, no, god damn it. One, eight, seven, three, nine. Okay. One, eight, nine. Damn it. Why? It's, it's just clicking. Why? One, eight, nine, three, seven. I did it. Next. Next. Oh my god, this is so disorienting. Well done. Now for one of the most important things as a hacker, covering your tracks. The system log tracks all coming in and coming on your connections. Your connection will always be at the top of the list. The connection is going to be able to figure out. You're going to be able to figure out. You're going to be able to try a little. Oh boy. What was that? Okay, I accidentally hovered over a thing. First step is to open your root access using the button on the top right of your HUD or by pressing enter on your rig. I'll go into greater detail about root access in the future. With the root access open, type the command log editor. This will disable read-only mode and allow you to edit the values of your address. So upper right it says. Oh, bottom right. All right, log editor. All right. I just okay. That that's it. I don't need to do anything else. Oh, okay, or do I? Perfect. You may have noticed with your tracks obscured, the global trace percent just dropped by fifty percent. Okay. Uh, okay. For our next step, you're going to try and head deeper into the system. Systems of this type are broken down into tiers. With each tier separated by a checkpoint, it is the wheel-looking thing. You can't miss it. Try to walk through it to continue. Wheel-looking thing? Whatever do you mean? They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Is this a wheel? Okay. Checkpoints are the system's way of filtering out people in the system who don't have the proper privileges, which brings me to another important step. The step is normally optional, but we were going to do it anyway. Retreat from this node and hack into the user information node. We are going to pretend to be someone else to trick this checkpoint. I'm so bored with this. Like, I, it's not a uh, hacking simulator, obviously, uh, at all. Um, it looks like a really fun game, like, as a game, I guess. Um, if you're into the whole, like, cyberpunk Tron thing, uh, I, uh, to be honest with you, kind of never have been, um, simply because uh, I don't find much novelty, uh, in this whole aesthetic, I guess, is what it comes down to. Um, and I haven't really seen anything so far that compels me to think uh that this is worth 
the investment in my time. Um, that said, it seems like a fine game um, if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, but I generally am not. So, um, all right. Eight, two, four, one, seven, <laughs> nine, two, four. Damn it. And it's, and I would be having a lot more fun if the UI weren't so clunky. And it, it is extremely clunky. Um, I get what they were going for. And a lot of games do the same UI stuff. But they just somehow do it better. This was 2017, I suppose. I like the hot bar, um, but this is so busy. And the first person view here with like these windows and stuff, it's not, not great. Um, like I, I get what they were going for and it's really ambitious. I really got to give them credit for it. Um, but, uh, this is just, it's simply not what I'm looking for and not what I would normally play. I'm impressed. Okay. Now that we have access to the user information node, we have the ability to spoof accounts. We're going to need your root access again. The root access and it allows us. Yes, I know I, we just said that, um, continue. Um, the command for spoofing users is context sensitive. You will need to enter the command spoof user followed by a space and then the name of the, one of the accounts displayed here, for example. So if user Sarah 42, it's with user, it's with user to continue. Okay. Are all of these the same privilege levels? It seems like they are. Um, and, uh, yeah, this aesthetic here, uh, you know, I, like I, like I said, this is ambitious. I get what they're going for. Um, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a home run here. Um, it, that said, if this were to be done, you know, again, re-released maybe with some UI tweaks and stuff. All right. So I'll uh, rig to what? Hold on. What am I doing? Uh, first we need to go take this, learn how to download files. Step one is to open your rig storage. You can open and close your storage by pressing tab. Okay. Oh, I'm pressing tab. All right. What? What am I grabbing? Okay. Uh, okay. File take time to download. Okay. Bypass the checkpoint to continue. All right. I mean, I'm trying not to pass judgment on it too too quickly because this is the tutorial level and all. Uh, but the tutorial is where we learn the game mechanics, and so far I have not learned. Flash your authorization and proceed. I have not learned that this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Okay. Uh. Here's where I start to deal with them. Okay. Connect to the personnel files node. Like, and that. This is the this is the kind of weird UI thing I'm talking about where it's like stuff like that. Management file. <sighs> Internal records. Let's let's we'll see some of the combat. I don't know. Maybe that will be somehow better. I literally cannot. Can't even. Okay. Um, did she not say personnel file? Could have sworn that she did. Oh, is it this one here? Yeah, there we go. Ah, drag code key to unlock. This UVP is a key lock type and requires a unique code to unlock. Not only do you have the key code, you don't have the necessary hacking software to bypass this type of UVP. Lucky we can't do the easy way. We have to always do the hard way. Open your root access. The command brute force, of course, it's just the command brute force attack. Brute force. Oh. God damn it. Final panic. This ICU is known as Hagen's Wall after the guy who designed it. 
It's a barrier type IC, which means it's passive. It also means it's very tough. Generally, the first thing you should do in combat is to run analyze subroutine. Multiple executions are usually required to give you all the info. An IC that's fully analyzed will display its effective attributes, not just their base values. Whether it's your app, oh, this is so fucking. Oh, God. Um, okay, sure. I don't care anymore. Uh, core reading to zero. This is done by running disruption type programs and viruses. Okay. Um, There's breach and disruption to crash aggregates and all. Where is that? Why can't I? I can't even get to. Is the thing I need to do behind this thing? Because I can't get to it. Okay, no, apparently not. Data miner. Well, how? What am I supposed to do here? Our firewall sensors in your wall. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. We're in a Pokemon battle. That's what it is. To analyze it, see what we get. Okay. Do I just need to keep doing this until I can see what I'm doing? Yeah, there we go. Okay, disruption. I'm sinking your battleship. I did it. I'll pull the file you downloaded earlier. Simply drag and drop. I'm going to elevate to admin. Enter the root access command search admin. Okay. Search admin. Returned one results. Okay. So, uh, spoof user Sarah29. All right, I did it. Add to the final checkpoint. I'll show you how to deal with using our root access, whatever. Whatever, I don't care. It's fine. Don't fall off the world. That's not fair. Hey, what the hell? It's being very... Oh, now I'm in third-person view. That's better than first-person, I guess. Come on, man. The hard way is typing in bypass checkpoint, really. That was definitely the hard way, I guess. Analyze. I see used target trace. It was super effective.
I won. Hack into the central processing unit. Crash the system using reboot system. Okay, I will. Um, Ray. Ray. Can't remember how to do this one. Oh, wasn't that? What did I tell? What did I do for this? Uh, oh yeah, it was brute force attack. Oh, you look serious. Are you a serious dude? Are you a serious dude with serious tude? You're a blaster. That's a destroyer type. Are you gonna destroy me, big boy? This game is pretty boring. Uh, it's the tutorial, though. Maybe it gets better. Maybe it gets better. I don't know. This is not, uh, not a good time, though. <sighs> Reboot system. It's not working. That was Jingle Bells, everybody. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Want me to do? All right. I can't do anything here, so I don't know. Um, analyze it. Yeah. Yeah. Analyze it again. Um, data mine it, stat, static it, oh, subroutine failed, I see, um, okay, I, it seems like this is what you wanted me to do, I don't see any additional instructions, I do not understand, do I need to do something else with this, do I need to unlock it, E, Talon, Analyze. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. Okay. Um. No, I don't want to. That's not what you asked me to do. All right, uh, you know what? You know what? I don't. It's fine. Um, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I missed something or uh, whatever. Uh, I don't need to keep playing to know this is uh, not at all the kind of game I'm looking for. Uh, third person hacking themed RPG is a novel idea. I cannot say I have ever done a game like this before. Uh, and I'm definitely not against the idea of a third-person RPG with hacking themes. Uh, this doesn't seem like a bad one. It does seem fairly low in its production quality, but, I mean, maybe it's a small studio. I'm not going to fault them for that. Um, but I will say it is painful to play um, with the UI the way that it is, and now that even I'm in third-person mode, and I, I don't know how I did that or if I can go back or, or what, uh, but uh, I'm sure it's... Um, controls, status, it does not say, uh, what the key is to go between first and third person, so, but even in third person, this was pretty clunky, um, yeah, I'd say, this is my final verdict on this, not a hacking theme game, it's not going to teach you anything, it's definitely not what I'm looking for, in terms of it being a game for people to play, 
uh it's fine i guess um but uh obviously a lot of kinks to iron out um let's see what we got on steam here uh, mostly positively reviewed uh let's see uh game looks and seems to play great i had a small problem when setting my resolution higher i had to quit and come back okay i don't agree with that it, it wasn't it, it, it's a it's a good idea uh execution still a little weak when was this posted uh oh shortly after release okay maybe back in 2017 it was a better experience after the first questionnaire i thought it'd be skulking around shadows and hacking into companies after hours or something like that uh vampires and masquerade bloodlines but for the cyberpunk theme you said you're confined to your room and everything is explorative is cyber wise okay so I don't usually write reviews, but I really like how this game is turning out. I mean, fair enough. I, I don't have a problem with this game. Um, it ticks almost all the right boxes. Uh, with a very basic core, strapping a very tiny hamster wheel of endless, repetitive, unentertaining grind. Okay. Um, I don't have enough experience with the game, really, to say one way or another if that's true, but that does seem to be what they're setting me up for here. I can't find myself recommending this game right now. However, there is deep potential here. Uh, I agree. I also love Shadowrun. I also love cyberpunk and dystopian future kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, this game is definitely up my alley. Needs a UI polish for sure. Uh, that, to me, is the the main uh, issue. Um, like, for example, like the screen is just too busy. There's too many things for me to learn and worry about. And uh, for some reason, this isn't working. And this mission is all my current objective is in the game. It's the only thing I care about, and I can't get more information about it. It just says, uh, reboot the system. And I recall the tutorial lady saying, you use root access and run reboot system. So, um, I don't know what else to do. And I'm not really getting any help here. Um, that's the key code verifier. There's the destroyer I just fought. Not seeing anything here that helps me. I don't see a button to summon the avatar lady. Um, so I'm done, I, I guess. Uh, I have no further guidance. Can I die? I can. Goodbye, cruel cyberspace. Oh, I just teleport back. Uh, so, uh, final verdict. Uh, lots of promise as far as the game goes. I like the aesthetics. I like the theme. I'm not usually a fan of the Tron aesthetic thing, but I do love me some cyberpunk. Um, but it needs more Polish. Much more Polish. I, I suppose I could try to do this one and see if, see if it spurns me along in some way. God damn it. And this switching back and forth between command line and the thing has more than once screwed me up. And now I'm in first person mode again. I, I pressed something. Is it B? It's not B. R. U. T. T. It is T. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know, this didn't seem to answer my question. Didn't seem to help me out either way. Um, so I guess I'm done. I don't know what else to say. Um, if you're looking for an educational game, obviously this isn't it. If you're looking for an entertaining game and you're willing to put up with some UI issues and, uh, possible, um, um, hamster wheel like gameplay, uh, then I guess give it a shot. It, it, it is one I want to be good, uh, not as a game that I would normally review on this channel, but as a game I would normally play, uh, but yeah, it's clunky. And I guess it is what it is. So uh, take care. I got some more titles I'm going to try out. See you next time.